What's up, everybody? My name is David from Bald Guy Media, bringing you the playoff review of the wild card round and the playoff preview of the divisional round of the playoffs in our franchises. CFM, uh, we are we are rolling here. We had some minor bumps with recording and getting things done. Uh, some bugs and issues wasn't aware of, but this is why we started in the playoffs and not from the draft or the beginning of next season. I wanted to get on a little bit of a roll here. So, yeah, I, actually, there were some exciting games. Um, I had some fun. I got some good reactions. You know, I'm not expecting a lot of people to be watching right away. They don't know what's going on. And I apologize for not having my face on the face camera. I wanted to be on uh, camera as I'm doing this, but uh, I don't know if you can record uh, gameplay like this with the camera at the same time. You know, I'll figure that all out. It's, everything's a learning experience, and some, you know, you gotta do it on the fly. Fake it, see you make it, and that's what we're doing here, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting into a roll. But let's go over what happened in the playoffs so far. As you see, the first game was the Bills and the Steelers. And, you know, the Bills get out to a lead, and eventually Kenny Pickett, you know, scored 14 points in the um, fourth quarter to get us over the uh, total here. You know, uh, I'll put the totals generally around 49 and a half points. <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're going to get. Um, yeah, so Josh Allen just doing Josh Allen things. He'll turn the ball over. I think he had one interception and a fumble, but he still, you know, threw like four touchdowns and over 300 yards and rushed for like another 50 and a touchdown. So Josh Allen just does Josh Allen things. He's, he's a freaking beast. You know, he's one of the best fantasy quarterbacks ever. As a matter of the turnovers, man, just got to live with him. He's going to put up his points. And even though the Steelers' defense got their sacks and, you know, a few turnovers, Kenny Pickett just ain't, man. I guess his tiny hands really are a problem. So, um, but Mike Tomlin keeps his team uh, at, at over 900 in the playoffs. To, I mean, I don't know how the Steelers made the playoffs with how bad their offense is, but they did. And that's a credit to their coaching staff, especially uh, Mike Tomlin. So, uh, you got to matriculate the ball down the field. And he figured out how to do that a little bit to get 24 points on the board. The Bills just are the Bills, man. Too good. Um, yeah, so that was a that was a good game to watch. You know, uh, I'll watch Josh Allen uh, put up points any time of the day. Now, next we have the Cowboys and the Seahawks bit of a defensive game both defenses seem to show up here now you may wonder why the Packers aren't in the playoffs I don't know uh, Madden that's just Madden I I thought I put I went week by week and I put in all the results and I guess their tiebreaker I guess had Seattle in and not the Seahawks I guess so I don't know but it is what it is it's, it's this is our league we don't have to be exactly like the NFL um, but Geno Smith sucks Kenneth Walker had 89 in the touchdown uh, DK Metcalf you know he had, he had a bunch of receptions but I mean Geno threw what three interceptions and they all went to Stefan Gilmore who was an absolute star 300 interceptions in this game Dak was okay, playoff deck. Um, and they got the progressive fatigue bug. This is the game I, I first learned what the hell that was. So, progressive fatigue is new, I guess, newer in Madden. And um, you need it in the playoffs, this becomes a bigger issue. And this is where you get your full, you know, your starters don't, your starting running backs don't play, basically. And uh, they had their freaking fullback running the ball. So I turned it off this round, and I, st I don't think it's, it'll take effect till the divisional round. So that was a bit of an issue. 
but it is what it is. I'm I'm not as concerned about that in the playoffs because stats just don't matter. It's just about, about results, and the Cowboys managed to survive the progressive fatigue bug. Everyone's got to deal with it. It is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it just wasn't a great game, in my opinion, to, to watch. So, it is what it is. And then we had the Dolphins and the Chiefs. Now, in this game, we didn't have the minus four degree temperatures. So, there was a bit of offense here. And the Dolphins got out, you know, revenge narrative here. Tyreek and Waddle are just too much to stop. Both quarterbacks threw over 300 yards. The lefty, Tua, looked pretty darn good. Um, A-chain was decent. So, uh, Dolphins were rolling. Chiefs just looked kind of like the Chiefs. Just not great on offense. MVS, a uh, much better Madden player than a, a real-life player. Looked like A.J. Brown out there. Nine for 92 and a touchdown. Kelsey, was this his last game when he had seven grabs for like 72 and a touchdown or something like that. Uh, just not the best game out of Mahomes. And, uh, you know, what do you get, 51 points here? Uh, went over the total at least. Uh, sorry, Chiefs fans. The run is over. And he's probably going to retire. Kelsey's probably going to retire and start making songs with Taylor Swift if she doesn't leave him for not playing football anymore and the charade of whatever, facade, whatever, some word, some big word, you know, if it's not a real love song, romance, probably is, uh, that's over. Uh, but I believe the Chiefs can rebuild, you know, uh, Rice is a pretty good wide receiver, and, uh, you know, Andy sticks around with Mahomes, and they'll be fine. Just got to reinvent themselves a little bit here. So let's go to a really good narrative here. You got the Rams at the Lions, Safford, and Goff trading that trade that won the Rams the Super Bowl. Revenge games here. You know, Lions haven't made the playoffs forever. I mean, what a story for Stafford, their number one pick, to come in and fucking ruin it for him. <laughs> and, I mean, it was pretty much the typical Rams offense. Stafford, Kyron, Cup, and Cup had three TDs and over, like, 150 yards. I think he had, like, 168 or something like that, if I remember off the top of my head. He was a beast. It could not be stopped. You know, they're... In real life, man, I, the Rams, I really think, can win this game. And I think they're they're young, but they're well-coached. When I watched them play the Eagles this year, they really gave the Eagles a problem. And they should have beat the Eagles. But that's, like, Cup's first game back or one of his first games back. And they were – Cup and Stafford were just a little bit off. I mean, he just missed some big throws. And uh, I this is, like, a perfect matchup for Stafford because – the Lions secondary just sucks, man. You can and Cup and Puka get them going, and I think they can still run the ball effectively enough. I know that's the Lions' strength, but sometimes those numbers can be deceiving because teams are gonna th- they have the number one rush defense. But why would you rush against the Lions when it's so easy to throw? So those those numbers can be de- deceiving. I don't know what the uh, what is it called the DVOA numbers are on that. It could be different. You know, I mean, at one point, the Eagles had the best rushing defense, and now they suck at rush, stopping the run and the pass. So you can do whatever you want against the Eagles. Uh, if you watch, if you pay attention to what Brian Baldinger is saying about the Eagles, they don't look like they their defensive line is in very good shape. And now there's things coming out from their former players that they don't practice as hard as other teams. So you could say, you know, I mean, if, it worked for the Eagles last year, so some some you know the NFL is different now. They're all about rest, and some aren't. What whatever. But back to this game. Uh, Laporta was his you know rookie self. That was pretty much their only shining light in in this game. Playoff golf is road golf? Question mark. Uh, you know, I'm just sorry, Lions fans. You know, you made you made the playoffs. There you go. Hey, there's your Super Bowl. There's your Super Bowl. No, but 
the ir the irony of Stafford ending it is just wonderful. I love that storyline, and I really think this is going to happen in real life. I just don't. I mean, they don't. I don't think they're going to have a Porta, and if they do, he's not going to be a hundred percent. And both teams can pass, but you know, it is what it is. Also, the Lions got hit with the fatigue bug. Shame for them, but you know, just Madden keeping the results what they want to keep. And here you'll notice another issue I came across. The Texans and the Browns is not the actual score. I had to force win the home team, which is the Texans. Now, I started this game. This is something I'll learn. Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to sim all these games. Um, long sim them. And I started this sim at home, right? And I, t I had my timer set so I knew where this game would end. And I was on the road. And I went into the PS uh, app. And I hit stop the recording. And I clicked out of this game from my phone on the app. And then didn't receive the results. So that's something I have to learn. Like I, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't do these recordings when I'm not home. Which is going to make it t take a lot longer to do what I want to do. But it is what it is. Learning results. So I just, I'm not going to replay the game. Delete the game that's uploaded. It is what it is. Uh, that was a good game to watch. But it's a great storyline. Another one. Old man. Um, Flacco and the Browns. It's a great story, but it's over. Stroud is just, his arrow, his plane is just continually to go up. He's just generational talent question mark you know he, he's he's good man and uh he's got one of the best wide receivers in this league right now which is nico collins they're hot and uh in this in franchises this league we have right here that we're talking about he was actually i think the number one wide receiver but we'll go over the stat leaders and the award winners at a different time in another video uh so that game was good i enjoyed watching it uh, Sta uh, Flacco in, in that game really put in some points late. Some big plays. Browns hit some big plays uh, to Cooper Cup or Amari Cooper. Too many Coopers. And then we get to the last game here. My Eagles beating the Buccaneers. And I think this is actually a relatively <laughs> uh, real score of what I think is going to happen. You know, AJ Brown's probably not going to play. Uh, I think Baker is going to play, but he didn't practice. Was it yesterday or the day before? He's dealing with an issue. So, I know the, D the Eagles defense is poopy, but I think, I just think both offenses, both teams, it's not going to be a great game to watch, I, I don't think. And you're just going to have probably this game be a Jalen Hurts in a game and a Baker Mayfield throw up game. You know, maybe they get a couple touchdowns. Maybe this is more like 21, 24, 14 or something like that. But you're going to have the move the ball. They should move the ball with Swift and the backs and a couple, you know, big Jalen Hurt runs and just he falls into the end zone twice and they kick field goals and they win. And then all, I mean, all the, the Eagles put out a hype video and all the Eagles fans are already in. And then they're after this win, they're going to be like, oh, we're back. And then they're going to go to uh, wherever they're going to go. And get their asses kicked, and then this can be fire Sirianni again. Whatever. But let's talk about this actual game. Uh, Rashad White was great, over 100 yards and a touchdown. But Baker Mayfield, in the end, in the fourth quarter, absolutely threw up all over himself. I think he threw three interceptions in in the fourth alone, four total, and three of them went to uh, a key trade piece for the Eagles. Showing up, Kevin Byard. He had three interceptions, and uh, one of them really sealed the game for them. Two of them, actually, two late ones really sealed it. One set up the Watt touchdown, the fullback Watt. Yes, the Eagles also got hit with the fatigue, progressive fatigue bug. So the second to last interception set up the game-winning touchdown, and then uh, Byard picked it off to seal it. So. Uh, go watch those games. All pretty good games. Tell me what you think. I think um, I got the sliders pretty decent. 
I, I changed one thing from the last time I used them in this in a long sim. I uh, where did I have? Uh, I used tips for gamers sliders, and they're really good. And all the th there was just too many sacks, so I boosted pass block or I think the pass blocking by like two little points, and it cut down on sacks a little bit. And then numbers are still good. Uh, and, and and I lowered the time. I had it at 15 minutes. Now, my computer, I can't upload videos from my computer right now. It's too old. And the clip champ I was trying to use is just too slow. It renders videos way too long. So I have to upload games. Upload. Yeah, I'm outside of Philly. Uh, I like it. Um, I have to upload my games recorded from the PS5 to YouTube so a lot of these games I had to replay they were recording too long so I got it to be under 60 minutes that's what I needed them to be at and it, it's fine because the entire league will be playing with the same amount of time every game is gonna be long simmed uh, so it doesn't matter what the time is and keeping it under 60 minutes allows me to upload videos right to record them and upload them and edit them Bef for these games i had to do them live because they were going over 60 minutes and then i figured out the time so the time thing has been fixed um you know and the stats are pretty decent uh, i think and i think it actually taking from 15 minutes to, i believe it's 12 now or 13 i believe it's 12 um makes gameplay a little bit better i, I don't know but yeah, I thought it was all in all a successful um, first round of the playoffs. Yeah, so with that said, let's go into the matchups for the opening round. We have the Dolphins 11 and 6 traveling back to Baltimore to take on the 13 and 4 Ravens in a rematch where in real life the Dolphins got their asses shellacked. So let's take a look here. Ba, ba, ba. Let's look at some stats. So the um, what should we call it? Panthers are one of the teams I'm taking over. Tua this year, 3,300 yards passing, 29 touchdowns, only three interceptions, a chain. And most are getting it done. Two of some rushing yards. Not bad. Tyreek Hill, only 1,100 yards. Uh, Cedric Wilson, <laughs> getting involved here. It is what it is. Jalen Waddle. Smythe. Yeah. Unfortunately, in real life, these guys ain't getting any, any play here. But a uh, decent year for them. Defensively. Wilkins and Zach Seiler. Sealer. Leading sacks. Jalen Ramsey, four interceptions. You know, he played all season. It is what it is. And then let's take a look at the Ravens. Lamar with 4,200 yards passing. That's pretty crazy for this playbook. 29 touchdowns as well, but more interceptions. I don't know how he... I, he didn't win an MVP, I don't think, in this league. And he had almost 900 yards rushing and six touchdowns. Gus the Bus piling in those touchdowns along with Elijah Mitchell. Hmm. Elijah Mitchell. Okay. Odell was Odell. He's likely, you know, he, he played all season because, uh, whatchamacallit, was, was hurt for this. Injuries return, the old injuries return on, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what is his name, Mark Andrews did not play, but Isaiah Likely was a beast, Zay Flowers, great rookie year, Bateman, I mean, this playbook is, uh, he's throwing in this, Mars throwing and running, defensively, Roquan led the team in tackles, 
Odafe Uwe, 14, Clowney, 11 and a half. Patrick Queen led the team with interceptions. So, cool matchup, uh, rematch here. I mean, can the Dolphins really win two in a row on the road? I doubt it. I just, Ravens are a better team, and I expect the Ravens to win this one. But you never know. Speed wins a Madden, and uh, it is what it is. All right, so the next one, Rams at the 49ers, a division round matchup, rematch here. Uh, the Rams, Stafford, 23-9, and nine, almost 3,500 yards. Kyron with a really good year, almost 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns. Tutu Atwell was their leading wide receiver. That's cray-cray. Old man cup, almost a thousand yard season puka uh, you know not the rookie year that most people are, are uh, used to but these are sim numbers so this is what we get ernest jones and miles jack leading there's a lot of tackles aaron donald is aaron donald still byron young i mean, i think he won defensive rookie of the year where he was in contention not a lot of interceptions but Rams are sneaky good, in my opinion. 49ers. Yeah, Fred Warner. Look at that. Fred Warner. And Greenlaw. A lot of tackles here. Bosa. Hargrave not doing great on the sacks. But Fred Warner. That should be the least defensive player of the year. MVP. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Let's see what Brock Purdy had done. Well, wow, there's a lot of touchdowns. It's a decent amount of touchdowns, only 3,600 yards. McCaffrey's just McCaffrey. Not there on the touchdowns. Couple, uh, couple stolen from the fullback and the uh, from Brock, but pretty good year. Brandon Ayuk, Ayuk is on fire. 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns. Debo. I mean, the one thing here would be Jennings getting 700 yards and 8 touchdowns is insane. Caffrey only 267 yards and 3 touchdowns. So, what do I see happening here? 49ers dominate, uh, I think. Yeah. They should. You know, Stafford coming off an emotional win, sticking it to his old team. And going on the road and have to face this well-rested beast of a team. Sorry, Ram fans. I likely think this is the end of uh, Stafford and uh, Cup. He had a good run. You guys are one of the healthier teams in the league, but <clears throat> you got a good coach, and I think eventually you guys rebound and get this thing back on the road. If not, McVay leaves and um, does great things with another team. All right, let's go to the Texans. 11, 10 and 7 at the Bills. This is where I think it stops for the Texans and CJ Shroud. 3,200 yards, 21 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Solid rookie year. Damian Pierce and Singletary getting it done. Shroud with another 300 yards and four touchdowns. So no rookie rust there. No rookie uh, wall. Got him a playoff win. Good for them, but yeah, I can't see them beating Josh Allen. Uh, Nico Collins is one of the best wide receivers in the league this year. Uh, Robert Woods getting it done. Schultz and Noah Brown were solid. And, you know, there was no Tank Dell because he was injured before this started. So, unfortunately, did not put up any points. And as far as the Bills... Oh, yeah, we got to look at the defense here. Blake Cashman leading in tackles. Will Anderson, defensive rookie of the year, maybe. Candidate, too. Seven, seven sacks. I think, he, I think both rookies in the sim that mattered both showed up between Stroud and Will Anderson. I think Will Anderson had a fumble recovery touchdown. That was That was cool. Uh, Stingley and Kareem Jackson. I mean, we got a lot of inter interceptions in this playbook. Wow. 
And then we look at the Bills. Quick, 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 click. Josh Allen, 4,000 yards, 32 touchdowns, only four interceptions. James Cook looking solid, only 495 and five. Latavius Murray, get out of here. Gabe Davis, our leading wide receiver. Dalton Kincaid. Shakir, yeah, not bad. Just some numbers. I don't even know who that guy is, but he's their leading tackler. Don't know much about, about their defense, but Von Miller and Greg Rousseau, double digit sacks each. Rasul Douglas having a decent resurgence here. Big pickup for them. Go West Virginia, big West Virginia guy. I went there, my wife went to. Uh, James Madison, so we have some pretty ugly colors for college, purple and yellow, if you combine them. Ugly. Yeah, so I just don't see the Texans rolling into uh, Buffalo and getting this done. Colder weather, just Josh Allen is just Josh Allen. Uh, the Bills, I just think they are uh, they got hot at the right time and won the division, and you're going to see them against Dolphins of the Ravens in the AFC Championship game. And then that brings us to the last game here. The Eagles. My Eagles. With, I believe, MVP Jalen Hurts. 30 and 8, 4,100 yards passing. Swifty. <laughs> this is why Lamar did not win MVP because 13 rushing touchdowns for Jalen Hurts is incredible. Only 6,700 yards rushing, but yeah, they were like one of the best rushing teams in the league. Devonta Smith, skinny Batman, leading wide receiver, A.J. Brown. Who doesn't want to be here anymore? 1,100 yards, six touchdowns. Dally Goddard and Zacchaeus. You know, decent, 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 pretty good. One of the best playbooks in the league. Nicholas Morrow. Leading tackler, Jalen Carter, the rookie sensation, leading the team in sacks. <laughs> Look at Nicholas Morrow, wow. All right, Slay and Bradbury, three interceptions. And then we've got the Cowboys. Playoff Cowboys. The Cowboys playbook in quick sim is absolutely goaded. 4,700 yards for Dak. I mean, he is... I, he just got absolutely hot with C.D. Lamb this year, and rightfully so. 31 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Another 5 on the ground. Pollard and Dattle with 21 touchdowns combined. Wow. C.D. Lamb is a absolute monster, and he is an absolute monster in this game. 1,700 yards, 8 touchdowns. Wow. Uh, he's got to be the best wide receiver in this game. Uh, does, is he the offensive player of the year? I mean, how could he not be? Cooks and Gallup. I mean, this is the playbook if you want to quick sim. I don't know if it's as good in the long sim form, to be honest with you. it look, They look like poop in the sim. I mean, look at these numbers that you put up in the... In the uh, <laughs> uh, you, know, you know who's going to be absolute. It just gets... This absolutely infuriates him how... This playbook plays in quick sim. It's not fair. You need to fix it. Bell with a ton of tackles and three interceptions. Micah Parsons, 25 sacks. And, and, I mean, and their playbook is GOAT, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bland is so much better. In, I mean, yeah, the secondary is insane. Uh, the Eagles ain't winning this game in real life or in this sim. I can't see it. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably going to be a low-scoring game. Both playbooks probably play way better at quick sim than they do in long sim. But, uh, yeah, this is the uh, wild card. I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Just not sure how it's going to go. Let's get back here as we uh, view the playoff bracket. So anyway, there you go. There's the review and the preview of 
the playoffs and franchises. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. This this is this is has uh this is the podcast. This is the we'll have these every week breaking down what has happened and what will happen. Drafts, free agency, uh, team team franchise focuses, whatever. You know, man, we uh we're in, we're in it. We're involved. This is a uh, it's gonna be like the real thing, so real. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.